Hey guys, I'm getting ready to go to my local Goodwill to see if I can find some new or gently used bedside tables. If you're like me and you like to find bargains on furniture, then after the new year is usually a really good time to shop. And that's because a lot of furniture stores are putting out new inventory and getting rid of their older inventory. They're scratch and dent inventory, things that have been on the sales floor as displays, and they will often donate that to our local thrift stores. Sometimes Goodwill, Habitat for Humanity, Salvation Army, you just got to kind of shop around and find out where things went. The other thing is, a lot of times people buy new furniture during the holidays when they're doing the most entertaining. So they'll get rid of all of their older furniture to make room for the new. So let's go see if we're going to be lucky enough to find anything that is gently used or newer today because I really just don't have the time to refurbish something. Well, I'm not seeing all that much in the furniture section that catches my eye. Sometimes you can find things in great shape and other times you just don't. This looks like a project for someone who has time to do some refurbishing and unfortunately, that's not me. And although I could use the end tables as bedside tables, I really don't need a coffee table today. These dining room chairs look like they have velvet covering, so I guess these are from the 70s. Our local Goodwill stores usually have a large selection of kitchen and baking items. And there's usually a large selection of home decor too. I really don't need anything from this section of the store, so let's go over and look at blankets and quilts. Every once in a while you'll get lucky enough to find some brand new sheets and comforters. I guess another customer was going to buy this brand new suit and then decided not to. So they just jammed it over here in between the bedding instead of returning it to the place it belongs. Don't be like this person. Give it to a sales clerk and ask them to hang it up in the correct section. Here's a pretty used comforter. Now let me tell you something about these tags. If it says medium on bedding, that usually means it's a full to queen size comforter. Sometimes you can find some really nice used items that are still in great shape. Check all used items for stains and tears. Let's go to the clothing section. I always love it when I can find clothes that still have the original tags on them from the previous stores they were bought from and were never worn. It's always nice to find athletic wear that is brand new or gently used at Goodwill because you can't get it anywhere else cheaper. Always double check the sizes and check for tears and stains on any clothing that you intend to purchase. Goodwill wants $3 a piece for a plain white t-shirt. Um, I can buy a bag of six for $18 brand new. No thank you. If you can find jeans that are in really good condition, then that's always a good buy at Goodwill. I know it's winter time, but if you don't buy shorts while they have them available, then you'll miss out because they'll be gone by spring and summer. I'm not seeing anything in this section that I need to buy, so I think I'll go over and take a quick look at the purses before I leave. It's always a good buy if you can find a brand name purse in good shape at your local Goodwill. I like carrying purses that I won't see anyone else carrying at the same time. Therefore, I like looking for vintage style purses. I'm really not big on trends, so I don't like having the same purse that everybody else is carrying right now. But if you're into that whole trendy thing, then good for you. They seem to have quite a few purses this time. I'm just not finding anything I want. Unfortunately, I have not found any bedside tables to buy, so I'll see you the next time, guys. Love you. Bye.